Hi, I'm Kirk Carpenter, Superintendent for the Aztec Municipal School District. As we start out our school year, we have some great news. We have found funding for our after-school programs at Lydia Rippey, McCoy, and Park Avenue Elementary Schools. The district will be able to fund the majority of the programs, and we have also received a substantial grant from a foundation that contacted us after reading about our issues with the program in last month's Talent article. We cannot thank them enough for their support in helping us make this program happen for our students, staff, and parents. The program will run Monday through Thursday from August 29, 2016 through May 19, 2017. The 21st Century Grant that previously funded the programs was not funded this year. We will not be able to be eligible to apply for the grant again until 2020, but we will continue to work to find funding for the after-school program because they are very important. The programs serve about 140 to 180 students and are an extension of the school day. The students receive personal tutoring from highly qualified teachers, get to participate in fun activities, and also have targeted intervention and enrichment learning activities as well. Now I want to turn my attention to our talk that we gave to all of our teachers entitled Igniting Learning. As we start each school year, I give our staff an initial talk about where we are going. This year, it was about igniting the learning in our district. As I mentioned to them, we must always remain all in all the time, but we must take learning to new heights this year and every year. This cannot be something we just talk about. We must do it. We owe that to our students. When we really consider that our students need to be college or career ready in the 21st century, we cannot afford to deliver instruction the same way we did last year or anywhere close to the same way it's been done in a traditional classroom. More than ever before, we must use the talent that each of us have within us and collaborate for the purpose of improving learning, not just for the students, but for the staff as well. Without this type of purposeful collaboration, we will not take student achievement to new heights. There is plenty of grounded research that tell us that student achievement will not substantially gain if staff learning does not improve in a similar fashion. We as staff must have 180 days of job embedded professional development. Now is the time, and if not now, then when? And if not us, then who? Another key point that was mentioned to staff was the idea of relationships, and not just knowing their students, but knowing each student's story. Where do they come from? What are they bringing with them, and how do they come to school? We are asking these questions not for the purpose of changing rules, but for the purpose of knowing how to engage with them so they can hook them into the learning, entice them into the relevance of what is happening in the classroom. All principals, assistant principals, and cabinet members will be taking personal tours to all reaches of the district so that they have a full understanding of just where all of our students come from. If we want to change the achievement gap, then we must truly engage students in learning. The only way to do that is to really know our students. I appealed to staff to teach with the same energy on the last day this year as they do on the first day, to let go of some of the teaching and throw the problems out into the classroom and to allow the students to solve them. If they will do this, they will be amazed at what will happen to learning in their classrooms. As students leave our schools, we need to ensure that they do so with the following skills. They need to have critical thinking and problem solving skills, creativity and innovation skills, effective written and oral communication skills, collaboration skills, inferential reasoning, analytical thinking skills, self-directed learning skills, in other words, knowing how to learn, transference and learning to new situation skills, evaluation of sources for importance and credibility skills, and openness to and utilization of critical feedback. This cannot start in the high school, but must be a systemic effort, kindergarten through 12th grade, and done at all levels. Finally, I asked our educators not to pay attention to the phony crisis about education. This idea comes from Rick DeFore's book, In Praise of American Educators. DeFore explains that no generation of educator has accomplished more for education than those that are serving today, whether it's regarding test scores or graduation rates. So we need to quit paying attention to the negative and more to the positive. That doesn't mean that we don't need to improve as we will always work to continuously improve. But we also need to understand that there is a lot of good things to celebrate and we need to take time to do just that. Every day is game day in Aztec and great things will happen in 2016.